Okay, so here's my table. And this ID is an autocomplete field. And this comes standard with my table. It just doesn't provide a lot of detail though. So we're gonna create our own custom IDs. And there's a couple ways to do this. The important thing though, is to make sure that this is unique. Otherwise, if you have the same ID in different rows, you're gonna have a bunch of problems. So we look here, we can see this is an auto number data type. And so we're gonna create our own custom ID here. So we're gonna say new ID one, new ID two, new ID three. And we can make these all short text, that's totally fine. Now, one thing that we know is unique is the date with the seconds. Okay, that's not gonna repeat ever again. So what we can do, we can just put in some uh, character S for example, and format, and we're gonna format now, uh, which is the date with the seconds, and we're gonna specify the date and time format, just like this, okay? This is not repeating. We're never going to have this value again. And each time you create a value in this table, it's going to give you an ID like this. So watch, I'll put in something right here. Okay. You can see these are all unique. All right. So that is one way to do that. We can make this next one a little more snazzy, I guess. So what we can do is let's copy this right here and put part of this into new ID two. Okay. And just cognitively, I just like to move that out of the way a little bit. And this looks complicated, but I promise you it's not. If you look to the right of the screen, you can kind of see how this all works. I can provide some more details on this in the video description. All right, this is all kind of a fancy way to get a random letter. So before we typed in S, this time it's gonna be a random letter. And so let's see what this looks like. All right, so you can see that P right there with that S. Okay, this time it's an H. And it's an A and so on. So. That's another way of doing it. This is going to always be unique, just like this is right here. So that's two ways right there. You can guarantee that this is going to be unique. Now you're probably thinking, why don't you just create a value like this? Uh, let's say U and then uh, ID. That would be the logical thing to do. However, you can't really do that. Watch. You're going to get this error right here. You can do that in a form, uh, but you can't do that here, unfortunately. I'm gonna throw that back in there and let's go ahead and save this. For ID3, we're gonna try a few things in a form or through an update query. All right, let's go ahead and add our new ID3 here. The one that we didn't apply anything to yet. All right, so this time we will work with the ID we're gonna make this part of our new ID here. Uh, like I tried to do in the table, but couldn't do. Okay, what we wanna do is right click, properties, switch to form here, after insert, and go to code builder. We're gonna reference this new ID here, ID three. What we're gonna do is give it a random four digit number plus the ID. So the ID is a row ID, it's gonna always be unique. This four digit number could be repeating, but as long as we have that ID in there to make it unique, we'll be totally fine. It's gonna be random, it's gonna be from 1000 to 9999. So I'm just going to add a character here, okay? And when I try to go to a new record, uh, it's gonna generate right there, okay? Now it's kind of annoying that you put in something here and you almost have to click twice. Rest assured, there is something else that we can do. So what I like to do in this kind of situation is I like to just create an update query. It's just a safer thing to do. And uh, you know, you could do this after update, I suppose, um, but this is just the way I like to do it. I feel like it's just cleaner. All right, so I'm gonna cheat here. First, I need to dim this uh, variable here. I'm gonna call new user ID. I don't wanna have to type this out and make you wait for me. So we're gonna do it like this. 
And what we're going to do is just create an update query to do this. So same thing right here that we had. We're just doing this into an update query. Now, the only thing I'm going to change here is this. I'm going to make this new user ID. So we're going to keep this algorithm the same. And let's see if we can just run this update query here. So you can kind of see how that works there. All right, let's go. Let's create a new record here. Okay. Let's go back and see if it worked. There we go. Let's try it again. We don't have to click here twice for it to update the value right here. So this is just a really simple update query and it works pretty well. Now let's say you have a data set already and you want to update everyone, okay? You don't wanna to have to go through a form and do this individually for people. That's fine, let's copy and paste this, okay? And let's close this down, totally fine. Let's just do an update query. But this time our update query is gonna update our whole data set, not just one record. Let's throw some things in here. So let's split it ID, these things for context, I guess. And let's have a look at what we got. Okay, so we wanna fill all these out. So maybe we should make new ID null. So only these people get new IDs. So let's do something like this, okay? Click on update right there. Just paste in here what we had earlier, like this, okay? And it could be the date one we had from earlier. It can be whatever you want. Hit run, hit yes. And now let's have a look. Good, there should be no values because there are none that are null, so that's good. All right, now let's check these out. Okay, these all have IDs here. So you can see this was a four digit number. And when you do an update query like that, it's gonna do it in batches, so this all those with 9546, that was that one batch, where if you do it in a form, it's gonna generate these individually. So that's one drawback of that, but as long as you have this and this, which is that right there, you'll be fine, because these are still gonna be unique values. So anyway. If you wanna be fancy, you can do things like add if statements to your ID. So here, what I'm gonna do is, if anyone's over the age of 30, I'm gonna add senior to their ID, Otherwise, I'm going to leave it blank. I could do an if statement to account for under 30 right here, as well as null. I just want to keep this kind of simple, though. So I'm going to do something like this. We're going to go back here to this update query, and we're just going to add an if statement here. Say if age over 30, senior. Otherwise, nothing. And I'm going to expand this so you can see the whole thing there. So when we're ready, let's go ahead and hit run. And let's see what it looks like. All right, so you can see right there. So that's another thing that you can do. I hope you found this video helpful. This is just a quick way of doing it. There are so many different ways of generating IDs. Uh, these are just some that I find useful. If you have any questions or thoughts, just let me know in the comments. In the meantime, thanks for watching and subscribing and take care.